So we're talking about chatbot marketing today. And the first thing I want you to understand is that even though this is an emerging technology and businesses are really just kind of starting to get into it, it's not as difficult or as expensive as you might think for you to get started in your own business. But there are a few things you need to be aware of. There can be problems with the strategies, so we're going to discuss some of that. First, most every business, if you have a website and you are able to access the header code of your website and make an update, not all website platforms will let you do that, but if you have that capability, I urge you to look into adding Facebook's chat pop-up to your website. It's a great way for your visitors and your prospects to be able to quickly message you through your website. Their questions will go directly into your business page, Facebook Messenger, where you can answer them. It's like the ability for your website to have a fully functioning chat feature without you having to pay for it. So it can be a great way for you to add that really quickly to your site. It's free to do. You do it right through your Facebook business page. And I actually do have a training walking you through how to set that up on my website, which is also free. I will type that website into the comments below this so that you can access that link as well. If you decide to implement that, um, first of all, you can add it on my website, which is vickywoo.us, V-I-C-K-Y-W-U.us. Go there, and in the bottom right corner, you'll see that chat pop-up available. And if it's not open, you just click on the icon and open up, and you can ask questions and chat right there. It's pretty handy. It's also important to consider what type of greeting or automated greeting message that you set in Facebook, knowing that sometimes people who are not yet connected with your Facebook page are going to possibly be responding to you through your website. So you can't assume that they already know anything about you. It has to be something kind of generic. So you want to think that through carefully. This isn't an actual fully developed chat bot. It's really just functionality to be able to put people into your messenger platform where you can chat with them. There are ways that you can develop chat bots and there are a couple of vendors out there who do it and they even have free programs that give you some functionality. And obviously they have a limit on the number of subscribers that you have and a limit on the entire functionality. But even when you start paying, you start hitting those limits, they're still pretty affordable. I've tried a couple of them. The first one I started with was mini chat and it was working great. I did a couple of tests in there to show people how it could function. One was a little mini social media marketing course, and it didn't go through everything, but kind of asked you questions, you know, do you have this set up on your Facebook page? You know, do you have your cover photo? And is it branded to your company? Do you have your profile photo? And is it either a logo or a picture of you if you're a solo entrepreneur or very small staff? and walked you through a few of those questions to kind of help you get a sense of how the chatbots can function. Two of the biggest pieces that I really liked and that were getting a lot of good results were the ability to take an RSS feed from your own website and put your new posts into your chatbot, into your messenger, for those people who had signed up and the ability to send a broadcast message. So to all of the people who connected with your chat bot, you could send out a message. Those broadcasts could not be sales related, but it had to be general information, news related, that type of thing. 
it also, each of these different things required the people to opt in through whether it was a specific link, like the little social media flow was a specific link, or if they were just visiting my messenger and leaving me a message through my business page, they'd have the opportunity to opt in. A couple of things have happened since then. First of all, Facebook has changed their guidelines and you cannot offer broadcast messages. First, they changed it to where you could only offer those to people who had interacted with your messenger pay in your page within the last 24 hours. And now they have changed it to where you cannot do those broadcast messages unless you go through their approval program. And those are designed for news sources primarily, not media specifically, but companies that provide general newsworthy type of information. You know, it can be anything, a mom's group that provides news about motherhood. It cannot absolutely be anything related to sales or to marketing. So for my own company, which is a marketing company, I actually have not been able to get the approval yet because all of my messages are about marketing, even though they may not be directly marketing my own business. And believe me, I've, I've tried, I've pulled all of the best practices on how to get that approval and submitted several times. And it says right there in the guidelines that if it's, the messages are marketing, you won't be approved. But I keep trying that they'll let me share most of the articles I post and these live videos and everything like that is informational for the most part. I do share posts to offer services. Obviously, I'm a business. Of course, I do that. But most of the information I'm posting on my website is valuable information and it's not a direct sales pitch at all. But still, because it's marketing related, I am not getting approved yet. Hopefully at some point I'll be able to make that happen. But until then, I can no longer send those broadcast messages. It is required now, again, to have that approval to be able to do those types of messages. Having said that, the other uses of a chatbot are still open to me. Here's one of the places you want to be careful though. I was talking with a business recently that has about, they have over a hundred thousand subscribers in their chat bot marketing. So a hundred thousand subscribers, most of these are clients or prospects. And I told them, I don't think they were even aware that this could be a possibility. But I told them on the mini chat platform that I had signed up for, and this is why I've had to leave mini chat, point back in 2018. Again, I told you that I have a, the RSS feed from my website. And when there's a new blog post, it feeds out and it would feed to the people who had subscribed to that service in Facebook Messenger. Great way for them to get, again, it's for the most part informational content that I post on my blog. There was a point last year where ManyChat had sent six messages in a row. We're talking one second after the other. And they all went out to all of those subscribers, but none of them were actually blog posts. It was weird, almost like it just said comment, but it was also not people had not commented on the blog posts. So I contacted ManyChat and they said, the only thing that goes out in that feed is, you know, it has to be in your RSS, so you had to add a blog post. I actually looked at the code, the XML code for my RSS feed, scrolled through the whole thing back all the way through January of 2018 to find anything that looked remotely like these six messages that had gone through. And there was nothing. So I kept talking to them, saying, these 
items that fed through don't even exist on my website. Nothing triggered from my website. It had to be a glitch in the program. And of course, they said that there was no glitch in their program. None of that really mattered. It, I needed to find out why it happened so it could be fixed, but it didn't come from my website and they're saying it had to have come from the website. There was no resolution of that. We never found out what caused it. The big problem is nothing from Minichat will now feed through to Facebook. It's like Facebook has blocked it and it was right at that time. And so I am assuming that it is because basically all of my subscribers to my chat bot got spammed six times in a row from my mini chat setup and nobody knows what happened. But since then, I have not been able to send any messages, any of the automatic flows I had set up in mini chat, such as that social media chat bot that would kind of teach you and walk you through a few things so you could see how the chatbot worked. None of those function anymore. I am not able to do any of the things in mini chat that I was once able to do. I have another auto answer bot through another program. It's actually a, a platform that I use and can um, sell to others at a very cheap cost per month. And it has the bot part that Minichat has also, where on a Facebook post, you can choose a keyword. And if you ask your visitors to type that keyword in the comment, then it will send them a message in Messenger. So it's a really great way, you know, comment below the word ebook and you can, you know, get the ebook in your Messenger and pop, it shows up in their Messenger. It's a really great piece to use and is a really great way to offer some freemiums to your Facebook page fans. That feature no longer also works in Minichat, and it does work in this other program. So I know for a fact that it's not my chat integration completely blocked. It's some problem that I had in Minichat. I tell you this because people assume that if, you know, if my account is set up correctly, it's always going to, going to work, and I don't need to have any other type of strategy or a plan B. So rolling back to this company I was talking to that has over 100,000 subscribers in their chat bot, one of the things I told them is that they needed to have a plan B. Because, like I say constantly, and you're probably tired of hearing it, anytime you're working with a third-party platform, you have no control over that third-party platform. You don't own it. If something does break, you can't fix it. And in their case, when they had such a huge subscriber list, and these were people that they were directly working through on orders they had done through the chat bot, which you can do on a paid plan, and offering them, you know, coupons and new information. If suddenly your ability to do that completely goes away and you don't have a plan B and you have not saved your subscribers, then you're kind of SOL. So, you know, I told them, yay, that, that chatbot feature is great and I've used it and it's awesome and beneficial, but you need to develop a plan B. What are you going to do if that completely crashes you need to have regular backups of the subscriber list at a minimum. And even though you don't have to have something else already in place, you need to have thought through, what do I do if I lose all this? What other avenue can I use? Can it be a different chatbot platform? Am I able to just kind of upload my subscriber list and connect it? Probably not. Facebook doesn't let that happen. Can I have them all in my email list and send them a quick email and say, hey, this chatbot is broken. We have this other option for you. Can I put them into a text messaging 
marketing program. You don't have to have it set up, but you need to have a plan. Always have a plan be thought out and able to use. Even with Facebook using their messenger platform, you know, they've implemented changes already, even since I started using chatbots about two years ago. So you always want to think through a how can I protect this investment of time, money, whatever it is, so that I can maintain communications with my customers. I can't just leave them in that platform. I need to have some plan to get them off that platform, mini chat, Facebook Messenger, whatever it is, into something I own for, you know, use later if something happens. But overall, I love messenger marketing and using chatbots. They're really technical if you get into developing something very involved. So if you're just having a few simple ask a question, get an answer, and have a different thing sent to them based upon their answer, you can probably set that up yourself unless you're just not techie. Anything a little bit more involved, that's why we offer chatbot services. And again, we set it up in a way that there are some things in place to make sure that your chat workflows are backed up and your subscriber list is backed up so that at least you have access to that data if you have to implement a plan B. And we talked through some plan B options with you as well. Have you tried a chatbot platform? If so, I'd love to know which one because I've tried a couple in addition to the one that I own through the um, marketing platform that I offer to my clients. That is just the comment answer. If you've tried a different platform, I'd love to know which one it is because I'm testing out several others and I'd like to kind of get your input on that. If you have not tried it yet, what questions do you have about implementing it for your business? First, would it be right? And what are the kinds of things that you can do with a chatbot? You kind of have to know possibility to see where you can take it. And then if you have implemented the Facebook Messenger chat pop-up on your website, I'd love to know that too. So put your comments and questions down below in the chat. And I'd love to see how you're using chatbots and give you some ideas and answer your questions. Thanks for joining us and we will see you next week.